Hello and welcome back to 4FS Gaming. There is a new terror hiding in the swamps. A faceless monster that rises up out of a swarm of beetles and flings spears of hardened bone. This is the Assassin. And it looks like many hunters out there seem a bit hesitant to take him down. In this video I'll show you how the Assassin functions and run over a few tactics that work really well to take him down quickly, safely and even silently. Despite his reputation of being a more difficult boss, the Assassin really isn't that dangerous. He has less potential to outright kill you than the Butcher, and he moves around more predictably than the Spider. Despite this, people will often camp this boss lair rather than engage him at this point, and maybe it's because they lack the knowledge to take him out efficiently. So let's jump in and have a quick look at his mechanics. The Assassin has two states, his Bug Swarm form and his Human form. You can damage the Assassin at any point, but he will take significantly reduced damage while in Swarm form. When you enter his lair, he will skitter around as a swarm for a few moments, often skittering past you, before rearing up into his humanoid form. He will then let out some kind of roar, and either strike you with bone splinters if you're close enough, or shoot you with those bone splinters if you are far away. The melee version deals around 50 points plus bleed, while the projectile attack deals around 25 points of damage plus bleed. He will then dissolve back into his bug swarm and scuttle around some more before repeating his attack. Hitting or shooting him while he rears up to attack will deal optimal damage, especially if striking his upper torso. If you deal sufficient damage in this small window of opportunity, it will interrupt his attack so that you don't have to worry about getting to cover. Now this is where the mechanics get a little bit more complicated. After being stunned out of his attack, the assassin will create three clones of himself. They will move towards any players in the boss lair, and if they get close, they will explode. This will do a very small amount of damage, but it will cover your screen in beetles, and make it harder to perceive any of your surroundings for a short period of time. Now you can shoot or melee these clones to eliminate them, and they basically have no hit points, or if they are not destroyed and cannot find a player to try and blind, they will disappear on their own anyway after a short period of time. Then the assassin will resume the cycle of scuttling about, rearing up and attacking. So the basic loop in order to kill the assassin is as follows. Walk into the boss lair, stand still. When the assassin rears up to attack, you shoot him in the chest. When he spawns his three clones, shoot each of them once. Wait till he scuttles around to rear up and attack again. Rinse and repeat until the assassin's health is reduced to zero. Now of course this shooting approach does work best if you have a weapon with a large clip size and ammo reserves. However, if you need to, you can easily step outside of the boss lair to reload. If you are going for a quick kill, using your guns is really helpful, but of course it is pretty simple to kill him silently as well if you do not want to give away your position prior to the banishing. In order to do this, I would recommend a powerful melee weapon such as the axe, hammer or bomb lance. However, technically any melee weapon will kind of work. Lanterns are also very helpful in the silent approach. To make this work, you just need to follow pretty much exactly the same process. When the assassin rears up to attack, hit him once or twice, and then use your light attacks to finish off the clones. You can even switch to a knife to use up less stamina here. Then rinse and repeat. This is one instance where stamina shots might be helpful, but still basically never worth taking in a consumable slot. If you need to replenish stamina at any point, you can just step outside of the boss lair. If you have a partner with you, you can coordinate it so that you take turns hitting the assassin and his clones as the other restores their stamina. Your partner can also interrupt the assassin's attacks for you if you need to heal without leaving the boss lair. Lanterns are another silent method to interrupt the assassin's attacks and deal decent damage. They are especially strong because the residual fire should kill any clones that are spawned, and if the assassin swarm scuttles through the burning areas afterwards, they will catch on fire again briefly for that sweet extra damage. Now, like everything in Hunt, there are a few challenges to face when you deal with the Assassin. The first is that he is exceptionally noisy, which makes it very possible for enemy hunters to sneak up on you while you are fighting. This is why I'd usually recommend keeping one of your duo outside as a dedicated lookout while the other takes down its health. If you need to kill him really quickly, don't be afraid to use your bullets, but like most bosses, the axe really does the job just as fast. The other challenge is that the bleed effect he applies makes it tempting to leave the boss lair to heal up, which will often leave you vulnerable to enemy fire. When retreating to heal up and reload, 
make sure you pick a very sheltered exit with which to do so. As for specific loadouts to help kill the assassin, it's really not needed at all, because most of your loadout choice should go toward PvP considerations, but I suppose a high rate of fire and clip sized gun like the Winfield or the Chain Pistol would be effective for shooting him down. But to be honest, as long as you can find an axe and some lanterns, you should really be fine. The Bomb Lance of course is excellent, just make sure to stick him with the explosive as soon as he rears up so it explodes while he is still in humanoid form, and if you do that, it'll only take 3 hits to kill him outright. Hopefully this guide helps you walk away with the bounty a few times more, and takes away any fear you might have over this rather intimidating new boss. If you like this video, please consider subscribing to our channel for similar videos down the road, and if you have anything else you would like to ask or discuss, please head down to the comments below, or over to our Discord server, linked in the description. Thank you so much for watching, this is Ascendance from 4FS Gaming. <laughs> He's dead. <laughs> oh man, record that.